Hi guys, welcome back to the Gucci Birchman Safari. Uh, starting episode 27, uh, 37, 37? Is it that far? Wow. Yeah, episode 37, I think. Uh, day 78, and looking at 93% condition for the old Birchman. Drank some birch bark tea yesterday, so that's good. And we're waking up in the Milton Basin, in the cave down at the bottom. And yeah, yesterday we came through, made a transition from muskeg, stopped at that little broken shack over there, checked it out, killed a deer, did a little eating, and, uh, and then made our way over here. We, we did a pretty big stash over there of supplies and material, and I ended up putting some of it here, mostly um, reishis. I, I think what I'm going to do actually right now, considering I'm going to go back for my... Uh, food right now. I think what we're going to do is move this all back to that other location so we have all our stash in one place. We're going to come back through here. Um, okay. It's nice out, guys. One degree. Wow. Okay, given that it's one degree, I'm going to take my time here. Doing the old two-step. Just thought I heard something. So this type of visibility really makes it hard to do anything. There's the meat I left, that's good, so. But yeah, let's eat a bit of this. That's the thousand. We're gonna eat the whole thing, guys. I can't believe how warm it is. There, that was good stuff. So. I guess, even we're in moose country, this is the way to go. Okay. A little hard to get oriented here, actually. I could walk into a moose this way. Okay, I'm gonna leave some cattails. Okay, I came a little close to the moose. I think it's over there. Yeah, so this is an awkward situation. Uh, we're faced with the ultimate travel weather temperature wise, but um, visibility wise, I will not walk into moose country in this. It's a, it's a death wish. So I've got my kill I made over there. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. That was right in the head. And uh, yeah, I never got my arrow back from this guy, unfortunately, but I did take him for all his meat. Um, oh. Did I forget about the, these two rabbits? Oh, I was just killing them willy-nilly. Crazy. Yeah, because I didn't need the meat. I forgot about that. Okay. So... I suppose we might as well harvest and just hope that the uh, weather changes, because it's so warm. Um, it is getting to be nightfall. This is crazy. Yeah, so let's just do that. The meat won't won't spoil, so we'll just do a bit of this. 
Just to further increase our meat supply here, which is it's off the hook. I should use the hacksaw. Oops. Yeah, so Pike Henry's giving me a hard time about having the, uh, the heavy hammer with me. Everybody gives me a hard time about having the heavy hammer with me. Um, here's something out there. It's probably a deer. I think it's a deer. But yeah, guys. Um, I got it, you know. Two kilograms of joy right there. I use this thing to defend myself. Um... The thing about wolf struggles is like, you know, yeah, we all try to avoid wolf struggles. Nobody wants to get in a fight with a wolf, but it does happen. No matter, I, I've i never been able to, you know, have a flawless wolf-free run. And the problem about a wolf struggle is it can just take me out. Like, I will I will die, you know. I, it's like 50-50 with me. Plus, it's not just that. Wolf struggles, while you're in a wolf struggle, you're taking insane damage, like, per second. Okay, we're getting cold now. So I'll tell you what, let's just use some of this firewood. Let's cook stuff and uh, might as well make good on this time so we're not fully wasting things. Oh, it's it's warm in the windshade. Okay, I could have stayed longer, but oh well. We will want fire anyway, ultimately. We'll make some water and whatnot. Yeah, anyway, you can't, you know, so the whole thing about the heavy hammer is not just to get out of wolf fights, it's to minimize time in the wolf fight. Because every second in a wolf fight, you're taking clothing damage, you're taking bleed damage. I've had heavy hammers and wolf fights before they start. You know, you just club them in the face and you get no damage. I've had no damage fights. Whereas the knife, anything else, I think, you know, you're going to you're gonna get into it with him and he's going to chew you up pretty good. So that's my take on it, guys. Um... I know that uh, folks have a strong opinion about it, the two kilograms, but I think it pays off because you're going to get into wolf fights, you know, so you might as well, I guess just, actually, if we're going to do this for the experience, let's just do the guts. Although somebody told me carcass harvesting is the amount of time spent. Okay, I better get my, my buffs queued up. Oh yes, and I came here to drop stuff off, didn't I? Ha. So, drop that, drop that. Let's drop uh, the reishis. Yeah, all of them. Because I've got uh, a whole bunch of herbal tea, guys, so we're good. And I've already dropped off most of my cattails, so that's good. Cured gut. I don't know why I'm carrying that still. Uh, how many did I say I wanted to make? I wanted to make three arrows, so that's nine. nine. And I will find some, so that's enough. Uh, and the rest is okay. That I will repair. I'll do right now. No, 99%. Maybe I won't. But we'll do it soon enough. 20 minutes. Let's do another. Um, just for the experience. Yeah, these will ruin on me, but that's okay. Okay, and we'll get rid of some of this rabbit. Okay, and let's do, okay, that's all done. Looks like it wants to clear up, guys, but honestly, if it's not gonna clear up, I can't really go. I guess uh, 20 minutes, okay, so I might as well do this. It, I really hate the idea of spin Oh wow, look at that. Spending another day here, but okay, cleared up, beautiful. Yeah, so this place is awesome. It's really uh, okay, let's go. So please tell me that our moose is despawned. It's so funny with moose, you know, like they're they're always there when you don't want them there. 
when the last thing in the world you want is a moose. Oh, he's there. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'll tell you what. So let's move all those guts and stuff back to the cave just so that they cure and the rabbit pelts cure. But yeah, I really wanted to harvest birch bark, guys. Like, I really, really wanted to. And it looks like that's not going to happen now, so... I'm going to try to chase these deer into the uh, the wolf. He seemed to know what I was up to. He wants to run up the lake. I mean, there's got to be wolf coming from all over the place right now. Look at that. They just don't seem to want to mess with that wolf. They know better. Something really weird going on there. Nice. Nice. Okay, that was one wolf lost. I can't believe how plentiful it is down here for everything. It's so nice. So I got a deer running interference for me, which is amazing. But yeah, that wolf is persistent. Yeah, so the reason we're doing this is just to... Uh, it looks like we're going to have to spend another night here. Um, I've got my two pieces of venison, which is excellent. It's another day's worth of survival, almost. And it looks like there's going to be another dead deer out in the lake, but I'm not going to bother running that down. We're just going to go drop everything off here. There's dinner. I'll drop everything else back here. Get some stuff curing. Time to look for shelter. Okay, and did I? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So we dropped a little bit of stuff. And I guess what we'll do, considering the guy's still here, is we're gonna go. Try to make good on the remaining daylight here. Doesn't have to be a complete loss. Yeah, that moose owns that area. He owns that birch forest. I guess there's some arrow practice over here too. I'm not gonna bother doing the torch thing. Only thing with the ice is you get insane rebounds. Oh, like that one. It's a pretty expensive way to get arrow skill, I will say, but from the point of view of uh, arrows. I only have the... Uh... Okay, so... I did lose one. Oh, there's another carcass here. I can't believe how plentiful this region is. So I did have one arrow bounce over here, and I don't see it, guys. So that might be another, like... It evaporated into the ether situation. All right? Is that... There it is, okay. Okay, just do a little work here. This is another maintenance episode for sure.
There we go. And let's go back out, guys. Oh, and that stuff cooled off. I was kind of hoping I'd uh, keep that one going, but oh well. Yeah, so another day lost because of that moose, but so be it. It's still super warm out, although not that warm, but I really should have taken that, uh, that tea. Now it looks like we may end up spending another match, so... But anyway, let's try to get what we can done. I am dreading those two ropes. So this is the kind of the hard way to get into Melton. Um, double rope climb pretty much means a, a sleep in the old uh, cave. Although I might have a coffee to do just to push, but... Yeah, it's worth checking this little ledge. There's usually a bit of a loot drop here. Um, both down here and then also up top. Okay, a maple. So you know what? Let's get that curing. I've been complaining about my bow going on me, so... And yeah, we'll take that. Oh, hey. Moldy. Moldy's fine. Yeah, so there's a big birch forest to explore. Um, yeah, let's go up top. There's one more stash, possibly, I think. Oh yeah, more birch. Okay. Oh, another bedroll, guys. Wow. Hope I can still eat this. Zero percent, but I can cook those. Matches, guys. Crazy. And a crazy amount of wood. Okay, let's drag it all back and call that a good outing. And we'll hopefully sleep it off, and then I really hope he's gone tomorrow. So what we'll do is we'll just spend a little time harvesting, um, and I guess, you know, probably should have taken the ones up on that hill because I'd never want to come back, but oops. Yeah, we'll cook that, um, that, that nasty can. Maybe that's for the morning, though. Actually, yeah, maybe all our... Our cooking and stuff is in the morning so we can get our buffs queued up. Kind of would make sense. Clean up the apocalypse here. I guess I could have done like half of the birch forest, eh? Uh, now. But... And it means I'm going to be carrying a lot of birch up that, that hill. But I think it's lightish. Quick stick run while we're here. While the sun's up. So that, that, that deer's out there. Interesting. I mean, that wolf probably is hungry again. I don't suppose I could draw him in, eh? Let's try to drop our um, firewood here. A lot of firewood. Oops. 
Still 43 kilos, but that's mostly rabbit. So let's see. Do we have a wolf coming in? Ought to, ought to be. I wonder where that wolf went. Unless unless he like you know ate himself to death because he had a whole deer. I think this deer's gonna get it. I think that wolf's gonna come right over the the rise at him there. What a beautiful night guys. Wow. I don't know if you can see this because of the YouTube compression, but it's a really lovely sunset and uh yeah, it's gorgeous. So far, the basin's been really nice, really, really nice, and muskeg was nice too. But, but yeah, this basin, here, here it comes. I'm surprised that deer got the best of him there. Oh, look, he's long gone. Yeah, that wolf's. Wow, but the wolf doesn't give up. He's still going. Wow. Anyway, it looks like we won't get that deer either, so so be it. Too much stuff to carry. Let's get back to our little house. It's getting dark. Do a little animal harvest and uh, and hit the sack. I know it's going to be... It's been a bit boring episode so far. Um, but honestly, I've had enough enough tangling with wolves for a whole run, I'd say. This, uh, wolves with uh, moose for a whole run. Uh, where's my cave? It's here, right? It's just hard to get into. Wow, it's dark. Maybe we'll get a little moonlight at some point. Okay, there. Now we're warming up. Okay, so I guess we'll hang. We've got not that much water, guys. Underestimated on that. Anyway, um, let's do this part. Okay, it got a little brighter. A little bit of moonlight came out, some stars. You guys probably can't see this, but uh, for me, it is it is visible. Okay, freaky music. What happened there? Oh yeah, this is, these are, oh, these are the partial bunnies, I forgot. Yeah, so we're gonna end up doing a fair bit of um, yeah, bunny maintenance here. I got six bunnies. So there's the three back there. Where are the other three? Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Nice even kilo. Always satisfying to have an even kilo. Alright, so let's get rid of all this meat. Plenty of meat. And let's do the guts. Oh, it's curing there. Okay, well. Okay, now we just have a bunch of uh, furs to harvest. And I think I'm gonna just do it because, you know, we need to kill time and we get the skill for it, so. Oh, we have a spare bedroll. I forgot about that. 
Let's see what we've got here. We've got, okay, 24. Um, yeah, we'll use it, but that one's going to break down eventually into cloth sooner rather than later, probably. We'll use it tonight, though. It's probably not a warm bedroll, but I don't think we need a warm bedroll. Okay, so this is just for experience, guys. Oh, a little bit of meat left on that guy. I guess to be thorough, I might as well. Might as well do it. Thought I heard something. The hope is with like a meat stash like that, the uh, the wolves would never get through it to, to get to you. They would always be drawn in by the the decoy. But I'm not sure. Interesting that that one's 100% frozen, that they don't warm up back here. They just freeze. Oh, interesting. Another piece of meat. So a lot of little pieces of meat there. If one was going to work on their cooking skill, this would be sweet, but we're maxed. Yeah, so here we go. Killing most of the night, but it is nice to wake up at the end of the day. I heard something weird. Okay, so if that. Okay, there we go. A little bit of a. Oh, yeah, wolf right out there. Let's drop these uh, birch saplings. So, this is a great curing cave. There's a lot going on in here. Um, well, let's hit the sack. Let's eat one of those uh, venison pieces. Where are they? Up at the front, I think. Gee, you guys. It's dark. Can't even find my venison. I did bring it, I think. Did I? I could have sworn I brought two venison. Don't make me let a match for this. Um, normally I toss it right at the edge. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's super dark. Thousand calories. Boom. Let's leave it at that. We'll go to sleep now. But yeah, we're going to have to wake up and make water in a big hurry. Uh, I don't even know if we have enough. don't really have enough to do the night, guys. It's going to be desperate in the morning. Eh, a little bit, so let's go with that. Um, actually, one thing I should do... Yep. Is get rid of this thing. Okay. Well, let's sleep. Okay, fully rested. What's it like outside? Uh, looks a little complicated outside. A little windy, but clear. Oh, there's that guy. Let's do a quick check on the old... Uh, oh, it's very cold because it's dawn. Moose. Moose is still there, guys. Oh. Starting to look like I'm going to have to take him out. Um, yeah, I suppose let's start a fire, get the water going. Um, right? Get everything going. Might as well at this point. Fully rested, so. Now, usually I do around here. I mean, the real trick is if you want to. You want to have a perfect fire, it's right on the edge of the place that it considers the cave interior. So I don't exactly know where that is in this cave, but... 
That way you can stay on the inside, the warm side, and yet get the burn time bonus for the outside. Well known. Well known strategy. Um, Alright. But yeah, we're not going to do it because... I'm too lazy to figure that out. That's what it boils down to. Get some water going. And well, I guess we'll do a little cook-up. Might as well get rid of some of that rabbit. The little stuff. Another big piece there. Okay. I'll leave the big... I like the full pieces. Leave them here. All right. So let's um, I'll toss something in there, like a piece of cedar. But yeah, I don't know if that that moose is gonna go away. He might be. We might be stuck with him. Get our buffs queued up. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll eat the soup, right? Thirteen minutes. Okay, great. So, yeah, we'll do the soup, but I, I would love to get rid of those little pieces of meat. Um, okay, let's get rid of the broken whetstone. Still the weighs point one. Break this thing down. I do one more. Okay, so let's do some of this little stuff, like the that's a big piece. Let's do that piece. This piece. There we go. Yeah, if only we didn't have cooking five already, but just to mop some of this stuff up. Hour twenty-six. To peak. That wolf looked like he may be gone. Moose is still there. Gosh, I guess I could try to take the moose out. Um, Question of how much do I want the birch bark, right? Not that bad, I don't think. It'd be more like let's get on with our lives. Just for a sec. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, several hours have passed actually, and again my system sat here patiently waiting for me. So gotta kind of get my bearings of what we we're doing. Pretty sure we just went out and did a little bit of um, pillaging here because we were moosed in. So. I think we're eating up the, the rest of this uh, rabbit just to get it done. It looks like I need to warm up a fair bit. Um, and yeah, it's much warmer in here. Let's do a quick weight check. So, yeah, going up to Milton. And what really am I bringing there, you know? Because we're going up with 35 kilo. And I'm planning to loot the place, possibly for lead. So, definitely need that. I dropped 60 rounds already, which seemed like a lot. But 60 rounds is still a ton of pistol ammunition. Um, I will toss all my torches, obviously, if I have to. There's these things. I'm bound to find another one of those. But uh, it is a little bit bold to just take the one, but it's not a big issue of weight. If I'm talking about weight, um, 
you know. I need the bow. I need the arrows. Probably don't need all of those, but uh, what do we got? Tools? Oh yeah, so let's go everything. Yeah, a bit of water too. I mean, the truth is, guys, at this point in the run... Oh, the peaches. I forgot about that. At this point in the run, we are... Um, we're heavy. You know, just because of all the... That's not a lot of water. I should probably make a little more hour left. Yeah, let's go ahead and cook that. Um, these things. Pinnacle peaches. Ruined pinnacle peaches. Ten minutes. Let's go warm up a bit more. You warm up real fast back here. Yeah, so it'd be cool actually to come back and do another bow, but... Um, the truth is, in, in Muskeg, there's not much... Yeah, I could just carry this all the way to Broken Railroad. That might be the way. I'd rather go back to Spence and try to forge it. Uh, to, and we're going to leave that thing there. That's like a cloth cloth source for the way back. It's also just nice to... Like, what a cozy cave to come into, right, guys? Yeah, and so now I'm actually wishing I had hauled all my stuff over from that other location because this is a better spot, but... I didn't know it had the backpack with... The 15 kilo backpack is a pretty good thing. Okay, so... That's cooked. Let's eat it. And I'm pretty sure I finished it, right? Yes. All gone. Alright, so... And that heated us right up. Oh, but see, that didn't... Oh, it did give us a warming up benefit, but look. It's not It's not there. That's so weird. It literally said you had the warming up benefit, but it's not on the icon on the bottom left. So, go figure on that one now. I don't know what to say there. Um, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is... It's early in the day. Take a quick peek. Assuming that the old moose is still there. I might just try to work around him. It's, it's nice out. Yeah, oh gosh. But that is such a nice spot over there. Let's take a peek. I mean, I could climb up one of these peaks and shoot him, right? Boy. I guess that's what it's going to come down to, eh? Going somewhere impossible for him to go. That's what it's going to come down to, guys. Um... I do not love it. Boy, do I not want to kill another moose and deal with it, you know? Deer out there. Oh, forgot all my buffs. Okay. Let's warm up for a sec. So. Am I going to do this, guys? Do I really want birch bark that bad? I don't need the health, but it is nice to have a little bit in, in the sack, just in case, right? Um, but yeah, messing with a moose. I learned. I should have learned my lesson by now, guys. After all the ugliness I've had with moose this whole run. But, you know, earlier, if you caught me earlier in the day, which, you know, when I, when I started this, this episode, I, uh, I was in a very conservative mood. And after a long kind of beleaguering day, thinking about the future, I'm kind of like, maybe I should just attack a moose, you know? I'm, that's what I'm feeling right now. Um, yeah, it was a long day. Let's go see what we got here. Let's do this. Oh, that was a beautiful torch. And let's take one. I guess I'm going to take this. I like it so much, right? I'm going to take it. Okay, that should be enough. Let's go deal with this thing. Let's go find a place to make this happen. Pretty warm out. Couldn't ask for better weather. Now, the only thing that worries me is that these animals, I think the way it is now, they don't actually have to path to you. They can kind of path just like close enough to you and they can kind of like, you know, telekinesis you um, to death. So I'm worried about that for sure. Um, I don't have bow five yet. Bow five is legendary because what you can do is shoot from a crouch. So there's absolutely no way he'll detect you. Um, 
very, very nice if you can do that, but alas, I don't see that happening for us just yet. Not now, at least, anyway. Come on, big guy, you can do this. This isn't that bad. Come on, up you go. Alright. So I'm assuming the moose can easily do all of this. This is not a challenge for it. Um, oh, there he is. So what I'm hoping is that I'll find a little outcropping here. Yeah, like I'm thinking if I just drop down here. Or maybe even that. Oh, I wouldn't trust that, would I? So let's do this. Let's try for this. Um, let's get this thing cooking. Only problem is with when you're shooting a moose with bow and arrow, you've got to shoot it like a million times. Okay. okay. Hopefully that turns around the old uh, temperature meter. Not quite, eh? Come on. How far are we off? A degree, guys. Oh, there we go. Just about. Get out of do it. And now I'm gonna crawl back down here. And I'm hope yeah, this should be good. Oh no, I'm gonna fall off if I. Here we go. I hit him. Oh, but I'm I'm getting cold down here. Okay, there we go. So now we just have to wait. Um. Now, but you know, nice place to wait. Um, okay, that acceleration of time did not bring him any closer. It like paused his. So actually, I should just look. Like that might have been enough to kind of scare him away, right? I don't see a lot of birch bark down there. Maybe I was just over uh, estimating the importance of this little swamp here. It looks like I was, guys. Alas. Um, I did put an arrow into him, so now I'm a little bit committed to all this. Do I want to do that? No. I want to use uh, reusable ammo on this guy. Because I can't use the bow for wolves. It's just not viable anymore as an option. Boy, but this is going to be tedious, guys. Uh, um, yeah, normally with a fire, you can really... In the past, you could really game him by just luring him to attack you. And then the fire would turn him at the last minute. But So you could just shoot one right into his face as he charged up. But this is not good and they don't bleed so there's no benefit right now to having shot them wonder if i can no those are all cold okay let's um let's cook that ratio up this thing we can get back to this spot which is great so what i'm going to do is uh let him have his way drop the cedar in this thing's nice and hot Get this thing going, and we'll just go for a little. Oh, is he coming? Okay. What I'm gonna do is do a little bit of a birch bark run while he's. Oh, look at him, eh? Oh. Yeah, he's definitely not necessarily coming back anytime soon. Okay, that heated us up a fair bit. I don't think I can shoot him from here. It's too far. I could go down to the next lip, but I feel like that's asking for trouble. Okay, he's slowly coming back. It turns out this is totally unnecessary. I could just, I could just avoid wasting another arrow on this guy, right? Anyway, he's kind of out of my way now. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure that that's a safe spot to be honest with you. I'm gonna say maybe it's not. Oh, he's coming back. Okay. Let's hope that this little lip here is, though. Safe spot. 
Hey, take a few more steps forward, guy. I wasted one arrow, I might as well waste two, right? Does that logic make any sense? It's usually four arrows or something to kill this guy. I guess I could put a bullet into him just to, like, give myself those arrows back. I don't know. But I can always forge more, right? I'm going to Broken Railroad eventually. Uh-oh. Okay, there. Yeah, good. So we can't get to that spot. That's great. Um, okay, and he bolted. Let's, um... I'm not going to get my arrow back, am I? Shucks. So that was an utter waste. And he's not bleeding. Okay, well, let's let him do his thing. Let's go explore this little uh, enclave here. Stick up a little bit on the way as usual. Okay, here comes the prize. A single peach of birch bark for all of my trouble and pain. I guess, you know, guys, I shouldn't lament the arrows too much, you know? I don't need the weight. There's a lot of arrows in this world, and uh, I could always make more, so... Maybe we'll just leave it at that, you know? Oh, here we go. So he wasn't really guarding the prize. I don't quite know why I'm doing the rose hips, just for fun. Oh no way, guys. Improvised knife, that's crit. Oh. I don't know if that flare scares a, a scares a uh, moose. Probably not. Now that fire doesn't, you know, I don't know. It's just risky. It's all very risky. I mean, the truth is I was kind of looking to leave some of those arrows behind anyway, so I feel like this might, might be a good turn of events. Now, this is interesting. A little back area here. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's just habit, I guess. It's one of those things where you never ever want to come back into this corner. Clean it right out. Now, here's where I find out that he's closed off my exit. Evil moose. The thing about moose is I've heard that in real life they they can be just about as aggressive as this moose is. So depending on the season, and this is not the season, it's well, it's mating season. I think that they're really dangerous. But I think I've said it before. But I remember hearing Les Stroud saying a story and telling a story about moose just attacking on sight. Apparently, Les Stroud got chased up a tree by a moose. Oh, here we go, guys. It's pretty awesome. So, oh, look at this, eh? Wow. What bounty. Okay, that scared me pretty good. Imagine a double moose. That would be unfair. Actually, that would be a kind of a cool dynamic if they had moose in the game and they had, you know, male and female moose and, like, it's the male that's dangerous but only if the female's around or something. Although I think in real life they're just dangerous during mating season altogether. They'll just attack on sight, but still, be interesting. I know this game's not interested in making, uh, you know, realistic animal behavior, but... Oh, look at all them birch. Awesome. Yeah, so he's basically keeping his distance. It looks like I won't get my arrow back. Maybe I'll just be okay with that. Um, you know, there's probably a couple pieces of birch down there, but I just got a bunch and I feel pretty good about it. Um, yeah, again, a little bit twisted about losing my arrow, but these are the things you do in life that you regret. Do I get suckered into one more? I mean, on the bright side, if I did kill him... I could have a moose hide cured by the time I got back. Which should be interesting. It really looks like there's no birch bark down there, but it could be just that it hasn't uh, drawn in yet. Oh, he's really asking for it, isn't he? 
I don't know if I can make this shot. There we go. I guess it's worth it for the archery skill, eh? Dare I? This is when bad things happen, right? Gotta be careful because the detection distance is insanely far right now. I remember when I, you know, the, the other night, basically, when I, back in Bleak, when I surprised that one over the ridge, it was really far away, you know, it was like, I felt like it was super far away, but yeah, he spotted me for sure, and that was it. It was on. There we go. Oh, at least we're getting our money's worth out of this fire. Feel good about that. Um, what's the water? Okay, yeah, I guess since we're staying, let's do a little water. Oh, I got three of these. Wow. Right. I had the extra can. Um, so yeah, if you accelerate this, I'm pretty sure. I just really don't know if I even feel good accelerating that with him around, but... <sighs> Beautiful day, guys. I mean, just amazing weather we've had so far in the basin. It's been unbelievably nice. And I guess this is Milton weather, guys, so we have a lot to look forward to. This is where the vacation begins, right? Milton's a vacation town, turns out. Oh, come on, big guy. Too bad there's no moose bait, you know? I don't know, I could leave some, like, fresh muskeg down there. Draw them in. But yeah, that's, I think, I mean, I know Kim Yoda can take the shot from here, but for me, I'll just be firing away arrows. Let's just see, how far away are we from? We're a long way off, guys. Archery 5 is really hard to get, wow. I'm starting to sound a little closer. Come on in. Yeah, so definitely the most exciting episode you guys have ever seen. Uh, but, you know, a pretty episode, I guess. Oh, is he going to turn? Okay, I'm going to have to take the shot here. There it is. There it is. I don't know what was about to happen just there, but that was something scary right there. It was about to like, you know, change its mind on me. This is the weather changes. He didn't seem scared that time. I felt like I was on the same little nub of land that uh, I was before, but the moose had different ideas. Okay, let's go deal with this um, mess here. Okay, it's very warm right now. Beautifully warm. Okay. Arrow. Where are all the rest, guys? Arrow. One more? One more in his butt, but I don't see it. Okay. Oh, yeah. There. Arrow. Beautiful. Okay, let's do this, guys. So it does feel like a terrifyingly awful waste to... Uh you know, kill a whole moose just for its hide. It's just like poaching, but I really don't need the meat, the billion kilograms of meat here, but I don't know. Not my finest day, I guess, but there it is. So let's uh, well. toss that cedar on. Let's ruin the environment over here. Okay, so let's take out, I'm going to do two kilograms just to say we had a piece. 
Let's use that improv knife. 17 minutes kind of sucks, but... Uh-oh. I shouldn't have done that. Make any blown? Let's get on this. Let's do this thing. Hide. Critical. Oh, awesome. Well, I'll do the 24 minutes. It's so fast. Monster hide. There it is. Actually, we're doing okay here. We're not too... Uh, Okay, you know what I better do is, while that's going, I better do a quick... Yeah, there's some birch. Okay, so he was defending something. Pretty light, though, but... Hey, one piece. Was that worth taking a moose's life? I don't think so, but... Anyway, on, on the other hand, when I come back to um, Broken Railroad, perhaps I can do a uh, moose hide cloak. Be nice. To go underneath my uh, timber rope coat. That will be the complete, the complete Gucci. A great basin for animals. Like, wow, just awesome. Okay, so I'm not going to do any more of these cattails. So they're really heavy, but. Yeah, so guys, it was one piece of birch bark. Um, I don't feel great about it, you know? This is the poaching episode. Boy, so many animals. My gosh, it's amazing. Okay, let's take a couple more pieces of meat off this guy just because we can. How much time? 15 minutes? Okay, let's do one, two, okay, three. Moose is so nutritious. And I guess we might as well just hang out and burn this fire. Like there's no harm in it. Do a bit more meat. Uh, I should be using the improvised knife. Oops. Yeah, this way at least, hey, there's a really large amount of meat. In this, uh, basin. Okay, that's getting a little bit different. Nine minutes. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I know it's again, it's it's terrible, but we're overweight. Probably gonna encounter a wolf on the way back because we stink, and we have way more food than we need. So it's it's definitely uh, a bit of a fool's errand here. But actually, maybe I should go around the front so I don't have a close encounter with a wolf right by the uh, the lip of that. Uh-oh. Kind of queuing off him going that way, but... Uh-oh. There's the wolf. Yep. He's coming. Yeah, so it'd be great to chase that deer up over where we're going, but... Doesn't seem that likely right now. Doesn't seem to just want to go that way, but... So I think I'm just going to drop this meat off here. Just to drop our stink. So that we don't have a really close encounter here. Hopefully I don't. Let that meat go. 
Did you spawn? Oh, there it is. Wow. I don't know what's up with that. That spawn range is pretty sh shallow. Managed not to catch the attention of that wolf. Okay, so let's do just a little bit of this, just to get some water going. And we're going to tie it off, I think. This is a pretty insane curing cave. Like, wow. Um, now, actually, the moose hide, you know, hauling it all the way back to Broken Railroad seems like a tall order. Um, definitely not hauling it up to Milton, though. A little of that going. Okay, let's drop that hide. Big monster, five kilogram hide. Where is it here? Okay. Boom. There it is. Thing of beauty. It's clipping though a bit, which makes me nervous. Too heavy. Too valuable to have it clip. I think it's okay here. Let's leave it like that there. Okay. Good stuff. And let's drop a bit of stuff off here. Um, dropping that. Don't, don't need that. Drop the improvised knife. What a nice little thing to find if you come down this way. And yeah, guys. Um, I think, did I get all my arrows out of that guy? I think I did. Maybe I should look more carefully. Anyway, again, arrows. Not that big a deal. And I guess this stuff will be breakfast right here. Not seeing that wolf. Weird, did he despawn? Like, I think he's probably around, but. Got a little sneaky on me there. Okay, well, let's do this. There it is. Fire another 48 minutes. Okay, do a breakdown. And yeah, guys, I'd say we're pretty much done here. It's, it's been a long episode, collectively. Uh, yeah, we're definitely there, so. Um, let's accelerate this a bit. Um, just do a quick a final gear shakedown. 38 kilos, what's that all about? 3 liters, 6 coal is a lot. It's a lot to be bringing up to Melton. I don't actually think I really need it. Now at, at this point in the run, I think we don't need that much, so let's drop. Let's at least drop 3. Let's drop 4. There's a lot of caves and stuff up there. Let's drop, let's drop 5. Why not, eh? We don't need it all. Oh, right, birch bark. Oh, birch bark. Okay, let's go prep that stuff. Now, after, that was our day's activity. Oh, and all the rose hips, right. So let's get that done. In the interest of health. Let's make that tea. I'll put in the... Uh, we're 93%, so actually... Hmm. Now I'm regretting that. Uh, I don't want to go to 103. I guess I could. I mean, I haven't lost the well-fed buff in what, like 65 days or something? I can't remember, but a lot of days. So maybe I should just take it. Yeah, let's just take it. Give me that extra little bit of insulation against uh, wolf attack. Why not? I have that to carry this stuff around forever. 
Okay, let's go drink it. Drink it. Stack those birch bark tea buffs. And let's do a little more water. Break some more of this down. Just one more, that's it. And then it's rose hips. Which I'm not sure if I'm even gonna bring. 222 minutes, let's do another, uh, let's do a rose hip. Those take forever. I don't know. Is it worth doing another one? I don't think so, really. Four liters. What do I have for firewood? I have three sticks. Eh. Okay, let's leave it at that. And, uh, yeah. I think we're pretty good for more rose hips to do. Let's just do them back here. Let that fire go up. Yeah, you're telling me. Let's do this. Rose hips. Just one. Okay. And I'm carrying an extra, unfortunately. I'll drop in the backpack. So we've got um, yeah, prepared rose hips. Really, just don't want the weight. You know, it's just the way it is. We'll just leave them. I don't know. I got them just out of pack rat, pack ratness. It's weird that they're oh cardboard. I feel like when I ask me to light though, it tries to light with wooden. It's using the wooden for some reason. Oh, are they heavier? Maybe that's it. Tell you what. Let's leave ten of the, let's leave those wooden matches here. Actually, you know what? Let's leave the uh the twenty cardboards. What is that? Point one? Yeah, so now we okay, that's that's plenty. You know what, guys? Also why not? So I gotta remember to go buy both of these caches on the way back. And yeah, let's drop take back like Five of them. Oh shucks, I was gonna do those for breakfast. Darn, I missed that one. Oh. oh, it's okay. We've got a whole bunch of cooked stuff. But yeah, I was gonna do those little ones for breakfast and get rid of them. No big deal. All right. Well, let's call it, guys. Um, good episode. Well, debatably, but we got a moose. It's a good episode, I'd say. And uh, yeah, let's let's shut it down. Even though we won't sleep very long. Um, no other maintenance I could do. Okay. You are right out there, aren't you? Sneaky, sneaky. Right out there. Um, I could do it, but let's just wait. There's no reason to do that. Um, okay, so down to 37 kilos, but a whole lot of water. Let me just drop a bit of that water, actually. Fill up first. And then drop like two liters. So now we're down to 35 kilos, which is a pretty good place to be. You know, it's not perfect. Five kilos is not a lot, of, a lot of extra room, but I don't know. We can make some hard decisions up there. I could leave some arrows down here, I guess, but let's figure that out tomorrow. Anyway, guys, let's hit the sack. Eight hours. It's going to wake me up in the middle of the night, unfortunately. Yeah. Gonna be nasty. There it is, guys. So, fully rested, unfortunately, middle of the night. It's, uh, yeah, well, coming up to dawn at least. Day 80, guys, and 103% health. Looking pretty good. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.